two, one. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons. We're recording today, June 14th, 2016. Today, I'm going to be talking about Semantic buying Blue Coat, Microsoft buying LinkedIn, and much, much more. This is a Security Weekly production. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. This episode of Hack Naked TV is brought to you by IT Pro TV. With IT Pro TV, you gain access to the most important tools needed to prepare for your IT certification. IT Pro TV has thousands of hours of up to date, high quality video content. Course topics include CCNP. CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, Ethical Hacking, Virtualization, Cryptography, SSH, Microsoft Server 2016, and more. You can stream their courses live and on demand to your Chromecast, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, PC, or mobile device. They have one low monthly subscription price and you can cancel at any time. Corporate pricing is available and clients include Harvard, MIT, UCSD, Stanford, and more. Check out itpro.tv forward slash hacknaked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code HACKNAKED30 for a free 7-day trial and save 30% off for life. Welcome to Hack Naked TV. So Symantec has announced its plan to acquire Bluecoat for $4.7 billion. That's billion with a B. This deal will supposedly make Symantec the largest information security... It'll make Symantec the largest information security company if we judge by revenue. It's also going to make it easier for Bluecoat to perform uh, man-in-the-middle attacks uh, with its proxies to intercept your encrypted traffic, since uh, Symantec's going to be able to directly issue certificates to Bluecoat. <laughs> I find this announcement pretty funny because it's coming right on the heels of Bluecoat just being accused last month of misusing an intermediate CA issued to them by Symantec. Well, maybe Symantec can do for Bluecoat what Cisco has done for Sourcefire. Moving on, not really security news, but pretty interesting nonetheless, as I believe we probably all have LinkedIn accounts. Microsoft is acquiring LinkedIn for $26.2 billion. This is going to give Microsoft access to a huge amount of user data on top of what they're already collecting through its search and other online offerings. This sort of makes me wonder if Microsoft is taking a page out of Google's playbook and if they recall any of their Scroogle campaign. They might be regretting that now. Just this past Wednesday, Michael Thomas, probably never heard of him, was found guilty of violating the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Michael was working for the CIS admin of a car dealership and is accused of, de of deleting files from his employer's system prior to leaving. What is really troubling about this verdict is that it sets the precedent that an employee can be found guilty of a felony for something that the employer deems damaging. Michael was an employee at the time, had authorized access to the system, there was no hacking involved, no bypassing controls or unauthorized access. That's right. He had access to these things. He was approved access. He was a system admin, and he deleted files. He's facing up to 10 years in prison and up to $250,000 in restitution fines. That's a lot of prison time and money for deleting some files because you got mad at your boss. Our last story this week, we just heard the details of the Hack the Bene Pentagon bug bounty program that we've been following. So more than 100 vulnerabilities were reportedly found, and the largest payout looks to have been about $14,000. I haven't had any luck 
on finding any details on the types of vulnerabilities found. And I'm guessing we probably won't get any details, national security and all that fun. So about 1,400 security professionals participated in the month-long bug bounty program. Pretty much the first of its kind being offered by the DOD. We'll see if it was a success and if they do any more going forward. Well, that's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. Thanks for listening. Send us your feedback at the show at hacknaked.tv and hack naked. Hack naked.